Harry and Meghan's wedding day has been one of the most photographed events in recent memory, captured by cameras and thousands of cell phones. The images are everywhere. It seems clear if you can't get a photo with the royal couple, a selfie with their carriage will do. Among today's invited guests, Alexei Lubomirsky, the photographer who took the couple's iconic engagement photos that are even now on stamps. He's also their wedding photographer. We're trying to do something a little bit different, a bit more about them, a bit more real. We talked yesterday as he was preparing for the biggest photo shoot of his career. You start thinking about protocol and how you address the queen and am I allowed to ask her to smile? Oh, are you allowed to ask her to smile? Your majesty, would you please give us a smile? Uh, I'm, I'm going to try it, you know. I'll flash a smile at her and see if she flashes one back. So. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to the group photo because I think that is really such a historical document. That just gives me goosebumps, the whole thing, about how the, the royal family has evolved and how it's moving with the times. I mean, this whole thing has been an amazing journey. We're out in the middle of this incredible landscape, this epic landscape. My job is a blessing. Let's do it! Because I get to take pictures of beautiful people in beautiful places around beautiful things. Look around, amazing. Ah, beautiful, there you go. His vibrant, provocative images appear to be in perpetual motion. Much like the man himself, Alexei Lubomirsky. Okay, guys, bring the binoculars up, start looking through it. My subjects generally read my excitement. Ready, here we go, love that hair. Epic, looking off to the horizon. I'm like, okay, the light's amazing, it's fantastic. Oh my God, it's amazing, amazing. And I get so hyped up. Yeah, exactly, fantastic, love that. Great, now the last thing, just twist the body a little bit. That's fantastic. Ah, beautiful, there you go, stunning. Let's do it, no smiles. <laughs> Not a wedding photographer by trade. Today we are in Kenya, we've just landed. Gorgeous you're more likely to find Alexi in far-flung corners of the globe. That's the there you go, perfect. That's right, nose of the giraffe. Nice, open the shoulder again. Shooting high fashion models. There, gorgeous. Or world famous celebrities. Born in London, raised in Botswana, this award-winning photographer now lives in New York City with his wife and two sons. I love your story. Tell us, how did you get this job? Um, I was actually in England visiting my mother. She, uh, she was having a rather complicated operation. And the doctor had given us rather dicey odds on whether this would be a success or not, whether my mom would make it. So he said, it's gonna be a 10 hour operation. So after 10 hours, we were sitting by the phone, panicking. After 10 and a half hours, no phone call. And then the phone rings, and so we all jump on the phone, and they say, is this Alexis Lubomirsky? Yeah, this is Kensington Palace calling. Whoa. My initial response was that it was my best friend pranking me. I mean, you had had no dealings with Kensington no, Palace nothing, whatsoever. No, no, no. And uh, they said, we'd, we'd love to talk to you about project. It'd be great if you could come down to Kensington Palace and meet us. His mother's operation was a success. So Alexei headed to the palace for a job interview like no other. It was very informal. They're just a young couple in love, and it's the most beautiful thing to see. And, and I'm a cheese ball, so I love that kind Me of stuff. too. I love love. Love love. I do, I do. <laughs> Sorry! The prince, the fiance, and the photographer all hit it off, says Alexei, bonding over Botswana in southern Africa. We spoke about Botswana because I grew up in Botswana and Harry has a close connection with the country. And they shared a vision for the official engagement photos. I think that we really wanted somehow for their personality to come through the pictures. So I just basically said to them, when I look at you guys, look how cute you are together. You know, you, every few minutes you kind of, you zone off to each other. This is what I want to capture. I don't want to treat you like still lifes. Love that. Alexi was hired. This was my favorite. I do think that there's such a tender intimacy here. Well, that was the last shot of the day. And I said, just, just, you know, wrap her up. And then she turned around to him and then there was this beautiful moment and they were just, they were hugging and looking at each other and smiling. And... Yeah. What were your impressions of them both? Just 
lovely, young, normal people, you know, just... Uh... Normal? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Still, there's nothing ordinary about meeting a prince, unless, of course, you happen to be one yourself. So I didn't know if being that you're a prince and Harry's a prince, and maybe you guys had that princely connection. We had a secret handshake. You had a secret, <laughs> yeah, there's a secret club. No, no, no. So tell us how you were a prince. My father is a Polish prince, and I was told about it when I was 11. Alexei had a regal title, His Serene Highness, but no royal riches, said his mother. There's no more land, there's no more palaces, castles, <laughs> riches, arts, armies, whatever. You, you just have a name. Prince. You just have the name. Yes. So very naively, I said to her, well, what's, what's the point of the title then? <laughs> and she said this phrase to me, which has stuck with me forever, and I always thank my mother for this. She said, if you want to be a prince in today's world, you have to be a prince in your heart and in your actions. Alexei. Alexei is taking action to help the poorest of the poor as an ambassador for the charity Concern Worldwide. So the area we're walking through now is called Lunga Lunga. You gotta go to class, you gotta go to class, you gotta learn quickly. Within these slums, they have no schools run by the state. So the parents have got together and they've started funding, self-funding these small schools. Uh, lesson is for English, lesson is for English. They're trying to help the schools with the funding and help with the, the uh, nutrition aspect of the schools. Good job! It was wonderful chaos. <laughs> All these incredibly happy children. It was amazing first place to visit. He's also a published author. There's princely advice for a happy life, written for his two sons, and diverse beauty. We all know that Megan is, is biracial. Does she exemplify, in your mind, a change in how we see beauty? I think that it is slowly changing. OK, ready, guys? Let's do it. Frustrated by the narrow perceptions of beauty, primarily in the fashion industry, Alexi created the book especially for young girls. All proceeds go to charity. It's basically a book of pictures where I wanted to go against the limitations that I found in magazines and show as many different skin colors and sizes and types of beauty in inspirational high fashion pictures. He's determined to make a difference. Another common bond shared with Harry and Meghan. They're very welcoming, they're very gracious. You feel listened to when they're talking to you. So really just good, good people.